hello everyone. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what I bought from the bin store. So today is Wednesday. Um, I don't even know what the date is, to be honest. <laughs> I think it's June 14th. There we go. So I did go to the um, bin store yesterday for Dollar Day. And I was kind of surprised. I went to store number one, and they actually did not have a lot of stuff. Um, the bins were actually a little empty, surprisingly enough. And so I only walked out with two things. So let me go ahead and show you what I got. So this first thing is a book that I found um, in the first table. It's kind of funny. The, the two, the items that I found were at the first table that I went to. So this is um, 101 things I learned in film school. I thought it was kind of interesting. Um, for one, uh, when I looked at the book when I got home, uh, the spine right here was actually torn. This part right here was coming off, um, as you can see right there. And I do have some archival glue for book binding right here. So I went ahead and applied that. And um, unfortunately, as it was drying, I didn't realize I had some on my hand and it had gotten, um, I guess it had seat through here, but that's okay. I mean, I only got the book for a dollar, but um, this is actually a really interesting one in terms of like, it's, you know, really everything that this guy learned while in film school. And I just, I just like the way that this was laid out, you know? So yeah. So I picked that book up and then I found this in the same table, this traveler's notebook. <laughs> so it is a, um, I don't know. I don't know if this is real leather, but, um, it came, it wasn't in a bag and it came with like two inserts and this, um, pocket here with, uh, yeah, with the credit card slots or the business card slots. But I like that it came with craft paper as the insert. So I don't think this is leather because it doesn't feel like real leather. And the, this definitely feels like kind of like that felt. So I just bought it mostly for the inserts, you know, even though this is a really, really nice um, cover and it has the Gemini Zodiac symbol on there. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I might give it to my niece, who's a Gemini, see if she wants it. Cause I can, um, I have inserts that I've made that I can give her, but I really wanted the craft one here. I'll, maybe I'll leave this one in cause I hate lined paper in my traveler's notebooks. So I may just do that. But um, yeah, it's actually smaller than a standard uh, traveler's notebook. So I have here one of my traveler's notebooks that I had pat put patches and stamped. And as you can see, the size difference, it is smaller. So it's kind of, you know, that was kind of interesting that it was smaller. Because when I picked it up, I was like, that seems a little small. And then, of course, when I got home, I compared it with my actual one. So... Because of those are the only two things that I picked up, so I literally only spent $2, I thought I would go ahead and show some items that I've never shown um, that I purchased from the bin stores. This was before I really started filming and showing what I got um, from the bin stores. So I kind of bought these, like I would say, um, probably in the first year or the first six months, you know, first year of me going to the bin stores. And at the time there were three, okay? Three bin stores here in my hometown. So the first item is this. There used to, I used to see a lot of these type of, um, I guess you could say Lego sets. And um, yeah, and you know, now they're becoming much more popular. Um, this one with, you know, with the orchids. Um, it has all of the peaches, I'm sorry, peaches, <laughs> pieces. This one, it says here that it was made in 2022. So I know that I did purchase this in 2022 because this is one of the oldest sets that I have. I have not done it yet and everything is in there. I did check it um, before I purchased it. And I believe I probably got this for like maybe six, four or six dollars. So we've got that. And then I'll go ahead and show you some of the other ones that are similar to it. So I have these two sets and I know that I did purchase these for $4 each because I got it at um, the bin store that's no longer open or um, in business anymore here. 
in uh, my hometown. So this one, um, it looks just like this. And then we've got this one here, the succulents. I really, really wanted this. I'm sorry, it's iridescent, so I'm trying to angle it so you know you'll be able to see. And they both have all of the um, pieces in them. So I had purchased these, you know, just I don't know when I'm bored enough. And I actually I remember now I purchased them because I was planning on buying a new shelving unit and I was going to put these on there, but I still have yet to get the shelving unit from Ikea. So I think that's, yeah, that's kind of part of the reason why I'm holding off on um, putting these together. And so the last one that I got here, and you can see a theme here. So this is another um, Lego type of set and it's like orchids as well. Um, and this one, let's go ahead and open it should have all of them. So it says it's plum blossoms. Okay. There we go. So there we go. All the pieces doesn't look as big as you would think. Those look pretty small. And of course, on the side here, it shows all the different um, ones that you could get. I have not looked on Amazon yet at how much these cost, but if you're interested in any of these sets, I will put the links at the bottom. I'll try to look them up on Amazon. So I've got those four sets. Let me move those out of the way because the other ones that I'm gonna show you are much bigger. Okay, so there are four sets here. Now these are not Legos, but these are miniature sets. So this first one here, is it looks like it's a witch's emporium. Oh, Kiki's Magic Emporium. There we go. So, um, and then there's different ones here. Alice's Tea Store, and then um, I guess Mosey's Detective Agency. I would have loved to have found the, uh, the tea store, but I just thought it was really cute. And, you know, these would look really nice on a bookshelf. Um, I'm pretty sure that I did get this for, yeah, because at the time when I was going, um, I was not going on dollar days because that would be during the time I'd be at work. I would only go on Saturdays and Sundays. And um, yeah, I would typically typically go on Saturdays to two of the bin stores and then the bin store number three, the one that's no longer open, I would go there on Sundays. So Saturdays, it would be $6.00. And then Sunday, it would be $4. So I probably got this one, maybe, yeah, I can't remember exactly, 4 to $6. So it has all the pieces there. And um, yeah, so it would look really nice in a bookshelf. So then the next one we have here is another miniature one, okay? And this one, it says Soho Time. I think it's really, really cute. It looks like a loft scene, right? And this one is not open, okay? A little smash there, but it's, it's, it was sealed. It's never been open. Yeah, and you can see this one was sold on Amazon. So it has all the parts. And then this is also from the same, it looks like from the same um, company. And this one is a flower house. Really, really cute. Um, see there, so up close includes everything. I've seen sets kind of like this sold over at, um, Michael's, but, and they're really expensive at Michael's. There's something like $30 or more. I haven't looked at, um, Hobby Lobby. I haven't been to either of the stores for a long time. So I don't know if Hobby Lobby sells these. They probably do. I wouldn't be surprised if they they did. So the last thing that I got, and I was really excited to find this, is a, it's definitely a bookshelf thing. And I've seen something like this over at Michael's. So this definitely would fit in between your books. So you can see right there. Okay. And it, you put it together, it would look like that. And then these are the other ones that you can purchase. So what I have here is the Sakura Dens Densia, then there's Sunshine Town, Magic House, and Time Travel. So yeah, 
really, really cute. Um, yeah, I'll eventually get around to putting these together, but I just, you know, I just like the idea of, um, I love miniatures. I've always loved miniatures. If you've ever heard of this Japanese brand called Remint, you can look it up. It's R-E-M-E-N-T. Um, they make like miniature stuff, like uh, food items, you know, uh, pharmacy items, grocery items, tea sets, things like that. And they're amazing details. And I used to collect them years ago when they were much more into um, making those type of sets. Now they do a lot of like Disney and stuff like that, um, just miniature stuff. But anyways, yeah, so that kind of is like feeding my, you know, desire for like the miniature stuff. <laughs> and then of course, you know, these right here, the, these Lego types, I mean, they're pretty, I would think that they're pretty quick to be able to put together. I might do the succulent one because it's really, really cute. Um, this one right here. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it's really small. So yeah, I'll, I'll put those together. And if I do, I'll show it on camera. So anyways, these are the, these two right here are the things that I was able to find from the dollar store. And I'm still working on putting together that video about, um, did I say dollar store? About the bin stores. So hopefully I'll have that up sometime soon. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great week and a great day. Bye. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the things that I found over at the bin store that I didn't pick up. So there's this blush, which I thought was pretty interesting. It kind of reminded me, I think, of Tarte. Um, I didn't get it, <laughs> obviously, because I don't think it's my color. And then I found these earrings, which were really pretty. They're fall themed. Um, I didn't pull it out of the package because I didn't buy it. Um, and then I found this, it's a watch repair. So this is for you to be able to take the backs of like an analog watch off to be able to change the battery. I already have a set like that. And then um, we also found some of these uh, dangles. They're for Christmas. Like I see these sold over at Hobby Lobby every year. And then the last thing I found is this uh, reading journal, which I thought was really interesting. I almost got it, but then good thing I checked because somebody used it and then returned it to Amazon. Can you believe that? Like, seriously, I see this happen a lot. Like, why would you use a journal and then return it? <laughs> it, just, it just boggles the mind. But um, yeah, I mean, I'll just make my own. So those are the items that I found at the bin store.